Hey guys. Shaman? And Yolanda? Yolanda? Co-founders. Published author. Uh, I was going to say co-founders of Harper Therapy and a published author. I still, it's mind-blowing. Yeah, it is crazy. It is mind-blowing. Yeah, you did this little thing. You wrote a book. I did write a book. I did. I never, had never had any intentions of writing a book, but it did happen. Yes. One of the big themes in your book is this concept of the things you're going to quit. So it's so like life and it's timing, right? right. It's so interesting. And um, so we talked a little bit last time about, and if you haven't seen my backstory like that, go watch that. Right. Um, but we talked a little bit about the, the things that led up to the sabbatical. And around the time that I took a sabbatical two years ago, right? now it's 2023, right? Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> that's right, right? It is 2023. Um, <laughs> Like the the our like our whole country was going through this big, what we called the great, great resignation. resignation, right? And I was like, how interesting that this great resignation and people like stepping away from things in their life that they're like, this is not working. Right. I mean, and and like it drove in like thousands. Right. Thousands. I was a statistic. I <laughs> left my day job and started yeah. doing this full time. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And so it was like, okay. Um, no, I wasn't going to quit my my role here at Harper Therapy. Right. Like that, that wasn't ever in question. But there were some other things in my life that I I had this stark realization that I needed to quit. Right. Um, but these are some of the, the deeper things that we talked about last time. Like right. the things that are underneath, the things that keep you half living, right. and not really being present in your life and having the amount of connection and joy and, mm -hmm. and energy. So, I explored some of those things. Yeah, and it, I mean, it's, there's some pretty deep and hard things to just like, yeah, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore, right? Well, like, so it was, so it started out as a recognition of the impact of these things. Right. And that, like, to this day, these years later, um, there's, it's still a work in progress. Absolutely. Right? And it always will be. Right. Uh, so, I just want to be clear about that. But... But yeah, these are some of the deeper things. Like, I am an overfunctioner. Right. Like when things get stressful, like I step into like, yep. I'm gonna take care of that and that and that and that and like, you know, I, I I call it the like boiling a pot of spaghetti and throwing the noodles against the wall to see what sticks. Only I don't wait to see what sticks. I've right. got like four other pots of noodles <laughs> boiling and I'm like slinging spaghetti noodles, you right. know, left and right. Um, that's over fun like that's the energy of over functioning right right um, I quit comparison and performing and like I'm a perfectionist and I realized right. how much my perfectionism keeps me in this like half living state right right um, things like imposter syndrome things like big systems that are in place here um, in our society that it, that are so much the waters that we swim in but we we don't necessarily realize the impact of it. Like right. Hypercapitalism. Patriarchy. Patriarchy. Right. Right. Um, racism, sex, like right. all of the isms. Right, right. Absolutely. And in, in how those things really silently have this grasp on, on us. Yes. Um, in ways that keep us in this half-living state. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's a good read. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, Aww. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've told you that. You. Oh, it's a good read. It's... No, you said before I was there. Well, I was. <laughs> Sounds like you. <laughs> Which I get. No, I totally get it in respect because you were there. And like, right. it. none of this would have happened. Like, there wouldn't have been a sabbatical. There wouldn't, there definitely would, have, would not have been a book, like any right. of that. But, and I do write in the book, like, these are the things that help me, like, knowing who my support is and mm -hmm. knowing who where my security is when things are feeling so uncertain and unsteady and right. like what is happening right now um like none of it would have happened without without all of that so right and it's i mean it's a very vulnerable book it's, like it's it is, is. and that so brings be nice. <laughs> that, that, that brings up its own fun stuff right yeah 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 definitely but um 
But it was just one of those things, like we mentioned before, like I, I would share a little bit about where I was and what I was working through and people were just resonating with it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very much a person of like, a sense of common humanity is so un like, for us to know that we are not the only ones going through right. a difficult thing. Right. And if in some small way, my sharing a little bit about what my experience was, helps someone else to not feel alone or bad or yeah. wrong or like um, in their experience, then, then that's really what it's all about. Absolutely. Um, and that, that comes with some vulnerability. Yeah, but I, I think you kind of have to get there for people to go, oh, wow, I'm not, I'm not alone. Yeah, Th that, that's, right. that, that's very true. And I think that's one of, like in the comments I've heard um, from people that have read the things you've written, is you know like wow you're speaking my language you're mm -hmm. you know i this describes me like you want to know what it is what's that i think i'm a, a canary in the coal mine <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> um i have always felt things very very deeply mm -hmm. um and I, I haven't always like put words around it i've grown into that right um but now it's like I can't. It's almost as if I, I'm so I'm compelled. I can't not right. point out some of these things and say, "What's going on here?" Right. <laughs> because it's not that we're wrong or broken or bad or any of that. It's just like that. It's like this is a, our experience. This is right. like a human experience. Right. And I think especially with you know things like social media and just just makes it all worse right? it just compounds that absolutely you know, feeling of like oh my gosh it must just be me that's having a hard time and right. it's not because we all know everybody's lives on social media are just perfect <laughs> not mine <laughs> right. anyway anyway so, yeah so you can actually buy the book you can and yeah. the link will be in here and in the blog entry and yeah. check it out man it's a really good read